Good morning, guys. Welcome to Monday. Girls are officially both home from school now. Gabby doesn't go anymore. It is summer holiday. This is the first time I'm looking at the pool after it rained for days. Nobody's been in it, so we got some leaves. I don't know where the leaves are coming from. I guess they must be coming from over there. summer holidays we're kind of I haven't figured out what we want to do and what our schedule is going to look like I kind of want to show you guys today all the things that I do in the course of the day it's late it's like 10 a.m. and I already do I've already done chores I did them at 6 a.m. so I've already fed the goats cleaned the barn fed the pigs taking care of them but there's always so much more to do like I feel like if you live on a farm people just think that you take care of animals but there's so much more like there's so much more to do so I figure that today I'll take you guys along with me other than this morning which we didn't do I thought I'd take you guys along and show you all the things that I do in the course of the day skim the pool we need to get in there to get the leaves off the bottom but it's a lot cleaner I also need to clean that that filter but Sam is the only one who knows how to do it. Ellie does not know that there's a pool there. I'm sure that once she figures out that she can get into that thing and swim, she will. All the time said that Ellie has been swimming in water troughs and swimming pools, little kids swimming pools. Since I've had her, I'm so excited that she's actually gonna get to swim with me this year. So let's go. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of things and then I'm gonna just take you along and you guys are gonna be with me on the farm today. I wanted to show you this. Sam emptied this five days ago and that's how much rain we've had in five days. Like that is a lot of rain in five days you guys. Which brings me to my next thing that I wanted to share with you guys. We have had insane amounts of rain. Insane. I can't keep up in the grass. So how our marriage works is that Sam cuts the grass but he only cuts what he can cut with the rotting lawnmower. The rest of it I take care of because he doesn't have good knees and I'm having a horrible time keeping up on on it so it's not just the grass it's all these weeds along the fence line last night I got ambitious and I cut a ton of them I cut all around this garden so it looks a little neater I also ended up cutting all this Sam tried to do it with the lawn tractor but he couldn't get down there because it's such a big slope I don't know why he just couldn't do it so I cut all that but because of all the rain come on Ellie but because of all the rain, we are we are drowning in weeds and trees and bushes that we did not want. Our front garden, I'll show you guys that later, is just atrocious right now. So I'm just gonna try and finish this up really quick before I move on to the next thing I need to do today. I, 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 I. I. Alright, so I tried to get more of this stuff picked off. It's really hard because it's all intertwined. I'd like to have like a nice clean view from the house into the farmyard. I just took a break though because literally every 10 minutes or so I have to call Ellie to see where she is because she runs off and sometimes it takes me a few calls before she comes back. So I don't know where she was but she was running somewhere. We're going to move on from this. Sam's gone to get hay. I want to take a few seconds just to check out my garden and see how it's growing. It's growing pretty good. Too much rain can be super hazardous on your garden. As you guys see, everything's growing so tall, but I don't have a lot of fruit on my on my vines yet. These little weeds though, I think they're called those sweet peas or whatever. I forget what they're called, but they are annoying. Ellie and I are going to take a little trip. Oh my gosh, these need to be cut down too. Literally everywhere I go, the weeds are piling up like crazy. Wow, you guys, look at the rain. See how the rain washed all this dirt? 
down last night. It poured yesterday. I do not know what's happening. Ellie, run. Come here, Ellie. Because that little baby likes to chase animals. Hi, huh, baby. <laughs> no animals here for you to chase. <laughs> She's like, I'll come with you. No. Hi, lady. Hi, Pen. The lady is always up for anything. She sees us coming. I don't even know where Storm is or Willow. Oh, Willow's right behind Lady. Oh, and there, here comes Storm. He heard his name. Still the laziest horse to ride, but runs everywhere on the farm. Obviously still the boss. But Lady doesn't let him push her around, that's for sure. Well, kick him, Lady. No, don't kick him. I paid the bills. <laughs> anyway, go away, little Miss Muffet. Go away. <laughs> Go away. This is not for you. <laughs> she can come in. Okay, so uh, you guys remember I showed you that I really want to clean this area up. I haven't cleaned it up yet because we had a huge trailer in here and now it's gone. This should not take me long. All right, you guys are about to see my ADHD brain. Okay, so I haven't been able to do anything in this barn yet because I had to run downstairs, get the broom. Then I met up with Gabby, and she needed me. And then I met up with the horses. Look, watch what's outside this door. Ellie, stay. <laughs> so those are the, Aunt Ellie. Those three are the animals that came running to me. Ellie, you better run. I don't know how she'll be with you. Come here, you dummy. So now I'm taking a break. <laughs> because everybody seems to want me. Hi. That's Ellie. Don't fight because I'm in the middle of you and I'm sitting down. And you're really high up there. This kind of doesn't seem safe to me. <laughs> All right, let me get up. Come here, Ellie. Okay, this is a horse free zone. <laughs> there are no horses on the cement. Back it up. Don't come up here. Don't come up here. All right, we're going in because this is getting crazy. Got the three good horses down there. Got the three bad ones up here. Oh, and there's Molly and Gabby. I'm having problems with this thing. Come on, Ellie. Push her away. I try and push her away. She's a lot stronger than me. Oh, goodbye. Oh my God. Ah! Oh my gosh. Oh, man, are you guys. This is a cute, cute little door, though. Let's see if we can peek out there if they're still there. No, oh, I can't peek out. I think they're still there though. Let's let's look. Yep, still there. Oh my gosh. Oh, horses are wild. Anyways, Gabby wants to go to the beach today or to a spot to take her dog. Are you gonna take Gat Sophie? this job now because my broom that I'm using it doesn't work on this floor it works so good down in the bottom part of this barn but I can't get the hay to move the straw to move the hay to move like when I try and sweep this look it hardly moves it's like really hard to try Sam's leaf blower and see if I can get 
all this stuff to move with the leaf blower. So I have to go and get that. Ah! Oh gosh. Oh, I'm terrified that when I go in this room, something's gonna jump out. I saw the shadow of the camera cord on the ground and I thought that was scary. <laughs> now I'll be scared. Come on, you big brave girl. I also really want to get this area cleaned up. Oh, so, uh, do you guys remember when I kept saying like, what am I going to use this little hut for? That little clothesline hut? What am I going to use it for? I want to use it for something. I can't figure it out. And then uh, suddenly just through living, it became clear to me what it was meant for. It honestly has turned in to the best little pool house ever. I'm in love with it. It stores all of our stuff. I need to finish that today or sometime this week. But for the last, since, ever since last summer, I've been saying like, what am I gonna use this for? Sam had the trailer in here. It was kind of a mess. I've been slowly trying to clean it up. Every time I try, something happens. <laughs> like my broom doesn't work. And now I think at least for this summer, every summer we have like a big party, like a big uh, fire and barbecue and sleepover for family, with my sister and her family. And I'm thinking like, what if we put up tents in here? Like what if we, put up tents, put our mattresses in the tent so we're not sleeping on the floor, and we all slept out here. There's so much room. I think it would be so fun. I also see a big hole in the ground there. That goes down to the main corridor where I let the goats in and out. And then I also see this big hole here. I think Sam needs to fix those. But I think it would be fun, and I'm hoping to get this job done today. All I want to do, I don't, I don't necessarily want to put everything like away. There's a pile there and a pile there, and they're all heavy stuff. But I just want to get all this hay picked up and all the junk put where it needs to go. But like I said, I can't finish this job because I need Sam. And I'm not sure if you guys can hear, but that little baby can hear me. And she is calling me for her afternoon bottle. So I'm going to go get that and take it down. All right, are you ready? I don't know who's out there. If I open the door and you see horses, you run, okay? You run. Get ready. Get ready to run, Ellie. Go, 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 run! <laughs> oh, they're all down there. In fact, we all need Sam. Gabby wants to go to this like little beach area to take her dog, and she wants to take Sophie. And Sam's the only one who knows how to get there, so he needs to come and tell her. Come on, Ellie. And then I need him to help me with a couple of jobs. So when I got up to the house to get the baby's bottle, I realized that I should just get the chicken's water freshened up for them. I put garlic in their water about twice a summer. Garlic is really good for bacteria or infection or anything that could be going around in my flock. So I do it about twice a year in the summer. And while I was waiting for the water to fill up, I decided to empty the dishwasher. And then when I was finally ready to take the bottle down to the baby, the dogs decided that they needed to go out for a pee. It is hot, man. Huh. chicken was laying on all these eggs well half of them weren't fertile they weren't fertilized so we brought all the eggs in <laughs> so, so put them in the incubator and they just keep popping if a egg isn't fertilized and it gets heated up <laughs> so we are biting our own business and all of a sudden we heard a pop we candled them last night too. Oh, and we candled them last night. <laughs> So 
the boys don't like their shelter anymore because it's taken over by a pig. Come here, piggy, piggy. Come here, baby. What? Are you lonely? Why don't you have a bath? Hey, why don't you have a bath in the pool? What? What? Hey, you need scratches? You need scratches? He really wants a friend. <laughs> You got me rhubarb? Uh, yeah. Is it Maps or Google Maps? So, like, I have anything else to do? I'd love to process some. Plant it. Did you take my shovel? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's for planting? Yes. All of it or some of it? Yeah, all of it. All right, I'll plant it. Rhubarb is a perennial. That means it grows back every year. So I need lots of space for it. You